everyone. 大家好，欢迎收看今天的成长汉语。Thanks for joining us on Growing Up with Chinese. Now we've got quite the technical show lined up for all of you today. Mike and Xiaoming are having a very focused lesson in American football, otherwise known as 橄榄球 So how's the lesson going? How is Xiaoming faring under Mike's tutelage? Well, let's check in with the two of them and find out. <laughs> Xiao Ming, you are not always like me to play basketball. Today is your first day. I will teach you how to play. Mike, these days I am always practicing jumping. My legs are tired. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Xiao Ming, basketball is just to practice and train. Like this, three days fishing, two days fishing. Do you think it's okay? Yes, it's true. But we don't have basketball. Don't worry, I am with you. I'm going to sit in the basketball court. 走吧。怎么样？我跑得够快吧？嗯，跑得不错。不过，一个好的橄榄球运动员，不但需要跑得快，而且。必须有团队精神。嗯，我明白了，就是要注意互相配合。是这样的，你向前跑的时候，你的队友要帮你挡住对方球员，啊，不让他们靠近你，这样你才有机会进攻。哦，我明白了，打橄榄球就像打篮球一样，配合默契才是最重要的。还有，光注意的配合还不够。你还要有强壮的身体，<笑>我现在身体就很强壮啊！<笑>我说的是抗冲击能力，因为对方球员抢球的时候，并不是站在那里一动不动，而是会向你猛冲过来。你必须有强壮的身体，才能定住对方的冲击。打橄榄球对身体的要求这么高，还有呢，你得训练自己的反应能力。我来示范一下。呃，我保球进攻，你来防守。你看，小明，你的反应要迅速，你来试试。小明，你真聪明，不过。如果你的身体能再灵活一点，就更好了。麦克，你别着急，我得慢慢练。好，我陪你练，你进攻，我防守。哎、小明，你进步真快，我都快防不住你了。过奖，过奖。主要是你这个老师教的好，那我可要留几手啊！哈哈，坐着瞧吧，我自学成才。你向前跑的时候，你的队友要帮你挡住对方球员，不让他们靠近你，这样你才能有机会进攻。When you run forward, your teammate. Needs to help you block the opposing players and not let them get too close to you. Only then will you have the chance to attack. Now, xiang implies direction. Remember, so xiang qian pao is to run forward. 队友 is how you say teammate. Dang is to block. And if you say dang zhu, it implies that you block and see that action through. 对方 means the other side or other party, and 球员 means player or team member. 挡住对方球员 block the opposing players. Now, 靠近 is to get close. 机会 is opportunity, and 进攻 means attack or drive the offense. 哎，怎么样？我跑得够快吧？嗯，跑得不错。不过。一个好的橄榄球运动员，不但需要跑得快，而且
，必须有团队精神。嗯，我明白了，就是要注意互相配合。是这样的，你向前跑的时候，你的队友要帮你挡住对方球员，啊，不让他们靠近你，这样你才有机会进攻。哦，我明白了，打橄榄球就像打篮球一样。配合默契才是最重要的。我说的是抗冲击能力。I'm talking about the ability to resist a charge. Now, 抗 is to resist, and 冲击 is charge or attack. So, 抗冲击能力 is the ability to resist a charge. 因为对方球员抢球的时候，并不是站在那里一动不动，而是会向你猛冲过来。Because when the opposing players try to get the ball, they don't stand still. Instead, they charge fiercely. Now, 抢 means snatch or grab. So, 抢球 is the action of trying to get the ball. 一动不动 is a way of saying no movement at all. There isn't even a hint of movement. 一动不动向你冲过来 is to charge in your direction. 还有。光注意打配合还不够，你还要有强壮的身体。<笑>我现在身体就很强壮啊！<笑>我说的是抗冲击能力，因为对方球员抢球的时候，并不是站在那里一动不动，而是会向你猛冲过来。你必须有强壮的身体，才能定住对方的冲击。你得训练自己的反应能力。You need to work on your reaction ability or your reactions. 训练 is to practice or drill to train. 反应 means reaction or response, and 能力 is ability. 反应能力 therefore refers to your reactions or responses and how quickly they might come. Okay, Xiao Ming's last words deserve some attention. He said, 我自学成才自学 is to study by yourself or learn something on your own, and 成 is to become. 才 in this context means a person of talent. So 自学成才 is like saying to learn on your own and become an expert. 还有呢，你得训练自己的反应能力。我来示范一下。呃，我保球进攻，你来防守。你看，小明，你的反应要迅速，你来试试。小明，你真聪明。不过，如果你的身体能再灵活一点，就更好了。麦克，你别着急，我得慢慢练。好，我陪你练，你进攻，我防守。小明，你进步真快，我都快防不住你了。过奖过奖，主要是你这个老师教的好。那我可要留几手啊！哈哈，走着瞧吧，我自学成才。All right, everyone, it's vocabulary time, and we'll also be taking a look at today's pinyin highlight. So first off, let's take a look at our specific vocabulary words of the day: 练习 practice, exercise, 练习。配合 cooperate, 配合示范 set an example, demonstrate, 示范猛 fierce, violent, energetic, 猛灵活 flexible, 灵活 All right, for today's pinyin highlight, let's take a look at 灵活 now, Ling is pretty straightforward. It's L, I, N, G. Ling, and it's second tone, so our tone marker goes above the I, the only vowel. Ling. Now, Huo. Huo is a little bit tricky to pronounce. Huo, Huo. It's the U sound. Ling, Huo. 
and its uh, second tone as well. So we place our uh, tone marker above the final vowel, O. Oh. Ling Hua. We've covered shopping in China in quite a few of our past episodes, but there's still some pointers that could be useful for you all to know, especially if this is your first visit to China. And the pointers revolve around size. Now, as far as clothing goes, the standard size in China is smaller than what I've seen in America and European stores. Now, in the States, you might wear a small, but in China, that could be a medium or even a large. Now, I know someone who is 1 meter 93 and built quite strongly. Now, in America, he buys a large or sometimes an extra large. In China, he has to look for a XXL or an XX. XL, <laughs> and they do have them. In any case, it's always a good idea to try things on before you buy them, just to make sure the size you have is what you're used to in your home country. Now, I have another question. Can any of you guess what I can't buy in China because they don't make my size? Well, um, that might not be a fair question because you can't see them very well, but my feet are big in shoes. I wear a size 42 in China. That's a 10 women's in the U.S. So they're big, but they're still within what is considered a normal size range where I come from. 42 in China is quite a common men's shoe size, and it's virtually impossible to find in women's unless you have your shoes custom made. All right, it's time to go over today's language points, and the good news is that they are all relatively straightforward. So let's start by taking a look at bi shu. Bi shu functions as an adverb in Chinese and means must or have to. Now, we saw it used today in this way. A good football player not only needs to be able to run fast, but also must have team spirit. 明天的运动会，大家都必须八点到运动场，明白了吗？明白了。游泳之前必须先活动活动身体。来，我们开始。光。in today's context, guang is used as an adverb to mean only or solely. Guang chu yi da pei he bu go, ni hai yao yu qiang zhuang de shen ti. Focusing only on cooperation isn't enough. You also need to have a big, strong body. Now, I could say, bie guang shuo bu zuo, which means don't just speak and take no action. Ni men lia bie guang chi rou, ye yao chi dia shu cai. Ni xian chi. 要想学好英语,光背是不够的,最重要的是经常说。嗯,我知道了。And finally, we've got a pattern to go over. 如果,就,if, then. Now Mike said to Xiaoming, 如果你的身体能再灵活一点,就更好了。If your body was just a little more flexible, that would be even better. Now a simpler example would be, 如果你去,我就去。if you go, then I'll go. 如果周末天气不错,我们就去爬山吧。可以啊,好主意。好了, that brings us to the end of today's show. Now don't forget that if there's anything we covered too quickly or didn't have enough time to go over, you can always visit our website to review at your own pace. You can watch today's episode or past episodes as well, and you can download content in order to help you in your Chinese studies. 好,谢谢大家收看我们今天的成长汉语. Thank you again for joining us today. 好,加油, everyone. I'll see you next time. 再见。